Florida's world-famous beaches were evacuated in minutes. Over 450 stretches of sand shut down by federal order. Can we survive the next phase of climate change? Residents have been forced to flee a high-rise building in Florida after a large crack was located. Statewide beach shutdown. Florida, bathed in sun and legend, beloved coast to the world, has just been thrust into a saga both gripping and surreal. In the blink of an eye, every stretch of sand from the shimmering tips of the panhandle to the neon pulse of South Beach sits abandoned. The order didn't come gently. It arrived with piercing headlines, crackling radios, and millions of notifications as federal authorities took an almost unthinkable step, closing every single beach in the state with a swiftness usually reserved for hurricane evacuations. But this time, no storm darkened the horizon, no oil stained the surf. What stopped the tides of people and emptied boardwalks was something unseen hidden beneath the waves and shrouded by layers of coral and sand. Scientists working off Florida's coast had detected a large underwater crack, an unexpected shift in the continental margin, raising concerns serious enough for federal intervention. In one monumental sweep, more than 450 iconic beaches were declared off limits. Lifeguards stood down, small businesses shuttered, and coastal communities, long shaped by the steady pulse of surf and sand, were left reeling, trying to make sense of an invisible threat. The timing of this closure cut especially deep. Just as a report from Environment America in July 2025 underscored how over half of U.S. beaches, including many in Florida, face regular contamination from sources like stormwater and old infrastructure, a looming new peril emerged from the depths. While contamination by bacteria was familiar, this seemed entirely different. Something elemental was stirring beneath the gentle oscillations of the shoreline. And now, Florida's reputation for sunlit fun faced a sudden, unsettling uncertainty. What then? had scientists actually uncovered just offshore. Enough, clearly, to force federal hands, disrupt daily rhythms, and cast a cloud over a coastline globally celebrated for its vibrance. Why would authorities act so dramatically? And what might this mean for a state whose economic and cultural identity is braided with the sand? Hidden Seafloor Fisher. It began with a hint, a blip on a sonar survey that didn't match past maps. Marine researchers, working with sophisticated sonar and remote-operated instruments, noticed strange echoes along the continental shelf east of Florida. What at first looked like a minor, perhaps routine variation in the seafloor became impossible to ignore as scans continued. A linear feature, unmistakably out of place, stretched beneath the sands and coral fields just offshore. With curiosity sharpened by their instruments, scientists mapped out this fissure. It ran for miles beneath some of Florida's most visited beaches, largely hidden until now by overlying marine life and shifting sediment. The revelation was sobering. Though Florida's geological landscape has always been defined by hidden seams and ancient vulnerabilities, the clarity and size of this fissure, so close to population centers, was shocking. To confirm, further surveys were conducted, cross-checked by satellite imagery, underwater robotic vehicles, and high-resolution bathymetric mapping. What emerged was a picture of a long, jagged break, likely ancient but newly active. Though far from catastrophic, its alignment near the busy shoreline brought geologists and emergency planners together for urgent consultations. Minor seismic tremors were noted, micro-movements deep beneath the ocean floor, 
water temperature sensors captured small fluctuations in the vicinity and some gas bubbles were detected rising from the disturbed area. Was it merely an age-old crack exposed by new technology? Or did these subtle changes point to new instability, perhaps nudged by recent storm patterns or rising sea levels? The science was careful not to leap to conclusions. However, the potential risks, while yet to be fully mapped, called for swift caution. Shoreline residents and officials found themselves asking, if the bedrock upon which Florida's renowned coast rests might be shifting, could this fissure signal a more profound vulnerability? Shelf instability risks. Explaining the science of undersea fractures is no simple task. For most people, a crack beneath the ocean seems remote, a curiosity relegated to geological textbooks. Yet for Florida, where the health of the coastline underpins tourism, jobs, and cherished ways of life, even small weaknesses beneath the sea matter, Florida's continental shelf has long been considered a stable buffer, a platform that keeps the peninsula insulated from deep ocean forces. But cracks, if they grow or shift, can disrupt this balance. Marine geologists have warned that undersea fractures, especially in proximity to heavily populated coasts, can rearrange sandbars, alter tidal flows, and stress the fragile sediment layers that support barrier islands. In extreme cases, though notably rare, large submarine landslides or shelf collapses can send silt rushing seaward, reshape the seafloor, and even trigger local waves. For Florida's communities perched just feet above sea level, even small shifts offshore raise real concerns, not only of sudden geologic events, but of enhanced erosion, faster loss of beach sand, and shifts to marine currents that safeguard both people and wildlife. These are not hypotheticals engineered for headlines. Around the world, the interaction of seafloor cracks sediment flows, and ocean dynamics has led to the recreation of entire coastlines over centuries. Whether this newly discovered fissure near Florida's shore would grow, remain stable, or act as a conduit for further changes is unknown. But the risk, drawn from studies and precedent elsewhere, was enough for agencies to act preemptively. Closing the beaches was a decision weighed with the best available but still preliminary information, a bridge between science and prudence in the face of uncertainty. Coastal life disrupted. The closures reverberated instantly. The emptying of beaches, economic and emotional arteries for the state, brought a hush rarely seen outside hurricane danger. Lifeguard stands and beach chairs went unused, while cafe awnings flapped above deserted patios. Tourists, locals, and business owners alike wrangled with disbelief and anxiety, confronting a paradox. The most immediate threat came not from waves or sharks, but from an invisible shift deep beneath their feet. Businesses catering to visitors, surf shops, seafood stalls, paddleboard rentals, felt the pain in cancellations, refunds, and slow days. Conversations echoed from Pensacola to Naples. What has changed under the surface? How soon will answers come? And what will they mean for the season ahead? Yet the impact wasn't just economic. For many, beach closures cut to the heart of community and tradition. Places of memory, celebration, and connection made unattainable by a hazard that could not be seen or touched. The phrase that echoed through local news broadcasts, massive underwater crack, became a symbol of newly revealed vulnerability. Rumors and questions multiplied. Could the fissure spread? Was Florida at risk of catastrophic change? Or would the state simply weather another challenge in its long duel with the elements? Would the closures last for days, weeks, or unthinkably even longer? Uncertainty spread like surf at high tide, fueling speculation even as scientists urged patience and continued study. In a state shaped by its seamless engagement with sand and water, the shutdown felt like a fundamental breach in the contract between land and sea. Why scientists closed? 
scientists and officials faced a rapidly shifting landscape. Preliminary data showed a crack of notable length parallel to the shoreline, but its age, exact cause, and changes over time were not yet known with certainty. Nevertheless, the convergence of multiple lines of evidence, sonar mapping, satellite imagery, subtle temperature anomalies, and minor tremors, suggested the risk was real enough to delay further exposure. No major ground collapses or tsunami threats were observed. Local infrastructure remained stable, and no dramatic displacement was detected beneath the resorts and roads. But the shutdown was underpinned by two facts. Cracks beneath the shelf can sometimes act as weak points during storms, and Florida's coastal geomorphology is especially sensitive, with a history of rapid change even from ordinary weather events. Context added urgency. A recent July 2025 report from Environment America showed that more than half of U.S. beaches and a great many in Florida are considered potentially unsafe for swimming at least once a year due to bacteria and pollution. The risks of contaminated water are frequent. The risks of geologic shifts, though rare, can be profound. Federal agencies and scientists weighing both old risks and this new development opted for caution. It was not the mere presence of a crack that alarmed authorities, but the possibility that it might grow, shift, or interact with existing environmental stresses, amplified by storms, heavy swells, or rising sea level. While dramatic shelf collapses in Florida are not historically recorded in the modern era, the combination of fragile geology and human development made the margins for risk slim. That was enough. To safeguard public welfare, the beaches would be closed until more could be learned. Emergency responders and coastal engineers prepared for every scenario from gradual retreat to persistent stability. Porous ground perils. Beneath Florida's renowned sunshine, there has always been an undercurrent of concern about the ground itself. The state's subsurface is famously porous, composed of limestone riddled with ancient sinkholes, underground rivers, and evidence of long submerged sea. While these features seldom threaten the coast directly, they make Florida more vulnerable to both slow and sudden changes. Concern grew as experts pointed out that should the shelf crack enlarge or extend inland, barrier islands might grow unstable or be more easily eroded by storms. An expanding fissure could create new pathways for water to undermine beaches, hastening the loss of protective dunes and speeding damage from tides and surges, threats already being modeled for a future of rising sea. Long-term projections have for years warned that parts of Florida will one day be encroached upon or even overtaken by the ocean, a risk compounded by climate-driven changes. While no one suggested that the new discovery meant instant catastrophe or widespread sinking, it highlighted the delicacy of the state's balance with the ocean and reminded many that the boundary between habitable land and encroaching water is maintained by little more than sediment, shells, and time. Insurers and property owners, now alert to weekly geologic updates, warily eyed the news. If even a small displacement or collapse occurred offshore, tidal flooding patterns could shift, potentially affecting everything from zoning to long-term home values. And with the memory of past sinkhole events never far from the mind, the idea of hidden cracks and uncertain ground was both concrete and chilling. What would it take, many wondered, for routinely safe beaches to become ground zero for more profound permanent changes. Health and habitat strain. Overlaying the new geological threat is the state's ongoing battle with waterborne contaminants. The July 2025 Environment America report told a somber story. 61% of U.S. beaches and a majority in Florida failed at least one health standard for swimming during the past year, primarily due to fecal contamination from stormwater, outdated sewer systems, and agricultural runoff. In Florida specifically, over 450 beaches were listed as potentially unsafe for swimmers on at least one day in four. Now, 
With a physical crack added to the mix, three invisible dangers converge – unseen pollutants, hidden geologic fault, and the complex interplay between them. While the newly discovered crack may not directly worsen water quality, disruptions to the seafloor could stir up sediments, alter current patterns, or even, if sliding occurs, create murky conditions hazardous both to humans and the sensitive ecosystems that draw visitors year after year. Local wildlife, from manatees and dolphins to the delicate coral reefs of the Keys, could face new stress if the shelf becomes unstable or alters water movement. The detection of natural gas emissions near the crack's location, while not immediately harmful, has prompted closer monitoring of water chemistry and fish health. Commercial and recreational fishers, ever alert to the fickleness of the sea, are watching for any shifts in their catch in fields of seagrass. Emergency plans have evolved. Drills once focused on hurricanes now include scenarios for sudden changes offshore. Lifeguards, normally devoted to riptide warnings and jellyfish alerts, briefly became unofficial ambassadors for geoscience, helping to soothe public concern and answer questions rooted as much in uncertainty as fact. Yet amidst anxiety, daily life goes on. Children press faces to windows, scanning forbidden stretches for any visible hint of change. Communities gather to share rumors and reassurance. Social media, never short on speculation, blends genuine images of monitored coastlines with wild stories of sinkholes and vanishing land. The unknown, as always, is the hardest thing to confront. Living with uncertainty. As helicopter patrols crisscross the sand, relaying updates and collecting new data, Floridians face a reality shaped by tides and probabilities, by the challenge of living at the intersection of land and a restless sea. The abrupt closure of every beach is not just a matter of lost revenue or spoiled weekends, but a signal. The ground that has always seemed certain, that underpins communities and culture, is now under scrutiny as never before. Life adapts, as it always has on the peninsula's rim. Scientists sift through new data every day, mapping the fissure and its course. Engineers consult blueprints and survey designs for seawalls and beach nourishment, wondering what, if anything, must change. Small businesses revise their plans yet again, and policymakers weigh the need for caution against the urgency to restore a beloved way of life. Yet, perhaps more than any scientific survey, it is the psychological and cultural landscape that shifts most deeply. Florida has weathered hurricanes, red tides, and slow-moving threats for generations. But a crack beneath the water, silent, unseen, forces a reckoning with the limits of knowledge and the fragility at the heart of coastal existence. Some communities respond by digging deeper into shared bonds, volunteering for citizen science, or joining local response teams. Others quietly contemplate moving inland, weighing dreams against new uncertainties. Across neighborhoods, families look out at calm waves and wonder what, if anything, lies waiting beneath. Will the beaches reopen soon, perhaps within days as surveys progress? Or will more investigation, perhaps even new technology, be required before any relaxation of caution? No simple answer yet exists. The situation is not a crisis, but a challenge, an invitation to deepen respect for the forces shaping the line where land and ocean meet, and to prepare for a future in which adaptation and vigilance are ever more essential. For now, the tide of Florida's story runs parallel to the hidden crack beneath the waves, uncertain, evolving, marked by both beauty and risk. The resolution remains unwritten, hovering as a question echoing from beaches now empty, but never truly, abandoned in the hearts of those who call them home. If you followed this story to its end, share it with those who love Florida's shores and seek to understand the true balance of beauty and danger woven beneath each wave. Unfolding revelations urge us to remember, beneath the sunshine, every coastline carries mysteries as profound as any legend, and the next chapter waits to be discovered together.